make the paper earrings, you'll need two bead charms and two earring wires in the same metal finish. You'll need a pretty piece of scrapbook paper, scissors, chain nose pliers, a metal hole punch, and finally you need clear nail polish. To make the earrings, we started by taking our really pretty piece of scrapbook paper and we sort of just looked around at the paper to find an area that we really liked the look of. And we ended up selecting this section up here that's sort of red. And we went ahead and cut out two pieces of the paper. And they, these are 10 millimeters across by 35 millimeters long. And that'll just make a nice long earring. And now what we want to do is we're going to coat both sides of this paper with our handy dandy nail polish. And to do that, we've got a little trick for you. I made a little work area so that I don't get nail polish on my work surface. This is basically just a piece of cardstock that I cut out. And I made two little stands out of putty. It's like that um, putty that you would use like to hang a poster in college or whatever. And that's just to make a little stand for us to put the little pieces of scrapbook paper and I'm pressing them down just ever so gently and I'm making sure they're level and what that's going to do is allow us to paint the nail polish on them without getting it on our surface and it also will keep them from sticking to the surface. So we love this idea of using clear nail polish because it's kind of like a it's almost like applying a thin coat of resin in a way, it sort of seals the paper and gives it some shine and it makes it a little bit darker, a little more vibrant. It's just fun. It makes it look finished. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to go all the way out to the edges. And I'm not applying too thick a coat, just a thin coat. And the brush strokes seem to go away when the nail polish um, cures, so don't worry about having brush strokes. There we go. Now I'm just going to let that dry, and the nail polish, or the clear nail polish that I chose, is a quick dry, so it should only take about a minute, and then I'm going to flip these over and paint the other side. We waited about a minute for our clear nail polish to dry, and now we're ready to flip over our scrap of paper earrings here. It really is fun to shop for um, paper for this because you can go to the scrapbook section of the craft store and just take a look at all the different papers. There's so many to choose from. You could use handmade paper also. That would be really pretty. So I'm just doing the same thing I did on the other side, painting a coat right over the back, making sure I go all the way to the edges. And this clear nail polish Another thing it does that's nice is it gives this paper some rigidity. Um, so, you know, it's not as likely to get any bends in it as you're wearing them. It just makes them more finished. There we go. Now I'm going to wait another minute for the clear nail polish to dry, and then we'll show you how to attach our cute charms. Now that the clear nail polish is dry, we're going to show you how to turn this beautiful scrap of paper into a pair of earrings. So to do that, I'm going to start by punching a hole at the top of the little pieces of scrap of paper. And I want to look at them to make sure I've got them oriented how I want them. I think I like them like that, so they're a little bit offset, so they look a little bit different from each other. The red at the top here and the red at the bottom here. I'm going to use my pair of metal hole punch pliers, and I chose this because it's got a tiny, um, it punches a tiny hole, um, but I think you can find in the scrapbook section, they probably have some hole punches that are tiny, um, but this is what we had around. I'm going to punch a hole very close, but not too close to the top center of my paper, like that. It just goes right through. Do the same thing on my other one. It doesn't have to be in exactly the same spot because it's going to be on either side of you. And I'll make sure that went all the way through. It did. There we go. And now we want to attach our bee charm and our earring wire. So we're going to start with our earring wire. 
I'm going to open the loop. See this little loop at the bottom of the earring wire? I'm going to use chain nose pliers to open that loop. And the way I'm going to do that is just grab onto the side that has the little cut in it. Do you see there's a little cut right there? And I'm going to rotate out. And what that does is keeps the loop um, in a circle. You don't want to pull it toward you or misshape it or make the little loop misshapen. We want to keep it nice and round. Now I'm going to slide my bee charm on. I want the bee charm facing this way. So I'm going to feed it on that way, like that. And that way it'll face forward with the paper behind it. So I'm just going to get the bee charm out of the way and take one of my pieces of paper here. And I want it facing forward also. So I'm just going to slide it like that onto my loop. There we go. And now, see the bee charm is going to sit on top of it. Now I want to close that loop again, and I'm going to do it the same way I did before. I'm going to use my chain nose pliers. I'm going to just basically rotate that loop closed on the earring wire, like that. So there's one of our earrings, very cute. It's got a little movement to it, very fun. And now I'll do the other one. Start with our earring wire. Here's my loop and I'm going to grab onto the side of the loop that's got the split in it and I'm going to rotate it so that it opens. I'm going to take my bee charm and slide it on. I want to make sure it's facing forward so that it hangs right and I'm going to put it out of the way. Then I'm going to take my paper and make it face forward and slide it onto my earring wire like that. And I'll flip it over and I'm going to close my loop on my earring wire the same way I did before, just by rotating it closed. And there is our darling pair of paper earrings. Mm -hmm.